hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be doing a little makeup video i haven't done one in forever so i decided to do one um this video will be inspired by a shirt so i have like a little bit of orange yellow black and uh like a lilac color so i'm gonna be doing an eyeshadow look with those colors so i'm gonna try my best if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like leave me down in the comment section some recommendations of videos i should do and what you would like to see so if you want to see me from this to this then please keep on watching okay so first of all ignore the mess i did not feel like cleaning my room because like to film videos i usually clean my room so the background could look clean and stuff but i ain't got time for that so right now i just got out of the shower and i'm gonna use this nivea cream and i really like this because it's thick and moisturizing so i'm just gonna apply that i kind of put a lot put it on my neck going to apply some of this lip sleeping mask it's by mamondi i got this from ulta i'm just gonna apply it on my lips we're gonna start off with the brows so to outline my brows i'm using this retractable brow pencil by wet n wild and this is in the shade medium brown so i'm just gonna outline the brows And then I'm gonna use the shade Chocolate is Life. So this one right here in the Most Loved Mattes by Milani palette. I always use this shade to fill in my brows. So they look kind of crazy right now, but I'm about to carve them out. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Light this one and i'm gonna cover it out with a bretman rock um this kind of brush it's a concealer brush i'm gonna carve out the top as well okay this is how they're looking i know they don't look even but I tried my best. Next, we're gonna go in with some concealer. I'm using this e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer in the shade medium beige. And I'm gonna apply that on the lids. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do one eye off camera, so I will be back. To show y'all the rest of the steps i just did this eye this is how it turned out it doesn't look good i guess once i do my the rest of my face will look better so i just used this to prep my eyelids i'm gonna use this little beauty blender just to blend it out then i'm gonna get a fluffy brush and i'm using the in studio cosmetics single eyeshadows in a shade toasted marshmallow and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. So I'm first going to get this single eyeshadow again by In Studio Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Heat. I'm just going to put that on my lid. So I'm just going to pack it on. And then after that, I should look like this. And I'm going to get the other shade, which is in the shade Ochre. This is like a yellow. Let me get another brush and go ahead and just pack it right above that shade, that orange shade we just put. So basically what you're gonna be doing is going back and forth with this, the orange shade and then the yellow until you get it to the color that you want. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Just keep adding because once you blend and stuff, it starts to fade away. So just keep packing. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that same concealer I used to prep my eyelids and I'm gonna cut my 
crease just like a little half crease so i'm just gonna put down back on my hand get this little tiny brush and try to cut my crease i don't know why this eye is always harder to do so i'm gonna try my best definitely i feel like it went a little bit out you can see right there oh well i'm gonna use this palette by profusion the festival palette i'm gonna be using the shade shell which is this purple one right here and i'm gonna put that where i cut my crease so i'm just gonna be packing that on that's how it looks Once I already got that on, I'm going to get the shade right above it, right there. And I'm just going to put that on my the inner part right here, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to get this one and I'm going to get the black shade, this one on the bottom. So I'm just going to be putting it on the outer part. Okay, so that's how it's looking. It doesn't look that good. I'm trying my best to blend it out. I'm gonna put some of that purple on my lid, like right here, so it blended out a little bit more. So next, I'm gonna go back in that orange shade and put some more on there. I'm gonna apply some mascara. This is the Essence Lush Princess Volume Mascara. So I'm just gonna apply some. Once I apply that mascara, I'm gonna draw a wing liner. We'll see how this goes. And while that dries up, I'm going to put some glue on my lashes. So today I'm using Pestañuda by Ale Martinez and this is in the style Juarez. I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. This is a clear one. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry. While I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna apply some of this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. This is my favorite. So I'm just gonna apply some. If I even have any. My lashes already dried up. I forgot to curl my eyelashes, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm apply that eyelash. So to apply it, I'm gonna get a mirror and put it like down below and apply my eyelash. And right now I'm just pinching them, my real lash to my the fake lash. Okay. So now onto the face, so I just sprayed that primer water. And right now I'm applying e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. So I'm just gonna apply that right here where my pores are big and my nose and my forehead. That's where I get oily. So I'm just gonna spread it out and pat it in. So it goes into the pores. Today for the foundation, I will be using the L'Oreal Infallible to up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. This one, this one's really good. I'm in the shade 485 and I'm just gonna use a pump for one side of my face. So I'm applying with this. And then I'm using this um, beauty blender I got from Amazon. Came in a pack of four, I think. Just gonna blend that out. I actually forgot to wipe my sponge. I'm too lazy to get up. I really like this foundation because it's very lightweight. It's full coverage, like, look at that. Come on, focus. It's really good coverage. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Sand Finish, this one. And I'm in the shade Medium Sand. And you don't need to apply a lot, honestly. And today I'll be using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade 
translucent this one so I'm just gonna go ahead and get that ready because after I blend my concealer I like to set my concealer like right away so I'm just gonna put that on the cap I'm gonna use a little sponge to get like extra extra coverage what I like to use is the the regular concealer by elf and then put the hydrating one on top after that's blended make sure you have no creases i'm gonna go in right into that powder i'm pretty much just setting it and then just blend out the other areas and then get some from here and just set the rest of the concealer and then for bronzer i'm using the I think this is the primer infused bronzer. This is by e.l.f. in the shade Perpetually Tan. I'm just going to bronze up my face a little. And just a little bit on my nose. I'm going to apply some bronzer. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon in the shade Mellow Wine. going to use the Bretman Rock by Wet n Wild. Um, this is the, um, I think I'm using the shade, I don't know what shade this is, but I'm using the gold shade. This highlight is so freaking good, like, so good. So I'm just going to apply that. Damn. I was like applying highlight on the tip of my nose. And I'm going to put some in my inner corner. Ooh. That looks beautiful. Okay, we're almost done. Lately, I haven't been putting anything on my lower lash, so I just keep it bare. I don't know what y'all think about that. You think it looks good? Let me know. So today, I will not be doing that. I will not be putting anything under this area. So I'm just going to... Get some setting spray by Milani. Make it dewy. So I'm going to see how this one looks. This is by NYX Lingerie. This is in the shade Lipley. I don't know how I feel about this lip. It kind of looks weird. Maybe I need to apply a lighter shade in the middle. Yeah, that's pretty much finished off this look. If you want to purchase these lashes, I will have the link down below. Also with my discount code, which is Lulu. So you get some money off your purchase. Um, let me know if you like this video. I really would love your feedback. And I haven't done eyeshadow in a very long time. Or done any makeup videos. So if you would like to see more makeup videos. Please leave me a comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.